we are at our beautiful restaurant, our beautiful kitchen space for our courses here in Bali at the Kukul Farm. My name is Luis, and on behalf of Bamboo U, uh, we are very happy to have you all here to learn a little bit more about bamboo. So sometimes a lot of people ask us the questions of what's the first step that we need to do for a bamboo construction? So people ask if it's about the design, if it's about the shape, sometimes it's about the material itself, how to get the material, how to process the material, but what we want to talk about today is about structural systems. So what structural system means is those typologies of elements that actually will carry the entire building, that will transfer all the loads and all the weight to the foundation points that we have in each building. So this is another interesting way to approach a design. You can approach through the shapes, if it's an organic shape, if it's um, like a rational shape, but also the other approach that we want to talk about today is through the structural system that you can use. So I'm going to talk about four different structural systems today. The first one is post and beam structures. So the post and beam structure, it's actually inspired by the wooden construction. For example, this small scale model, it's a post and beam structure, which means that you will have horizontal elements and also columns or vertical elements. These elements will start holding the weight and making A-frames to maintain the entire structure together. So the beauty of this um, structural system is that it's modular. You can play with the dimensions of it. So that way you can start having like a nice and curved shape if you're using this structural system, post and beam. If you're in Latin America, for example, you might know that there's a system very similar and it's called par y nudo, which means that you will have two vertical elements and then one on top interlocking uh, this structural system. Interesting thing is that if you go back and watch our YouTube live that we did last week, we were explaining one building that we're gonna be building in our in-person course starting today. So you can see the entire process of how to build a post and beam structure with interlocking elements and using any kind of species where you, um, if you're located in Latin America, you can use Wadwa. If you're here, for example, we use Dendrocalamus asper. The next structural system that I want to talk about is the grid shell. This grid shell is, for example, this um, scale model that you can see here in front of me. So this scale model is the pool pots that Bamboo you built a few years ago. So basically how it works is imagine as a bird nest. So it's a bird like putting together all little pieces to make this kind of igloo shape, sphere shape. All this grid shell is just made out of splits, small pieces of bamboo that by itself, they are very humble and they are very weak. But once you start placing all them together, it brings a lot of stiffness and a lot of rigidity. So once you have like this shape, then you can actually do some openings. For example, here, as you can see in these pool pots, we have one opening here, look into the pool, another opening here in the front. So it's very efficient um, spaces. For example, this space that we're now, it's a massive grid shell that spans more than 10 meters in some areas. So just by adding many elements of splits, it will bring a lot of rigidity. You can work a grid shell in a very rational way, as you can see in this structure but also you can work a grid shell in a very organic or random way as these pole pots. So basically what you want to understand is that you will have a ring or a foundation ring or laminated element that will hold all the forces and the kicking of the splits when you're placing them together. 
the more splits that you add to the grid shell, the stronger and the better will get. But consider that all the foundation points or the split and the laminated splits that will hold all that forces needs to be strong enough if you are adding more and more bamboo splits. So this is the grid shell. You can play with a sphere, you can play with any other random shape and it's up to you. Get as creative as you want. So also I want to take this moment to um, suggest you and encourage you to ask some questions. Our team here at Bamboo U uh, is ready to answer any question. If Our next uh, structural system that I want to talk about is the hyperbolic paraboloid. This very interesting and aesthetically and curvy shape, it's very interesting because you can see that it's all made just by straight elements, straight poles. You can see that it's just a simple grid that once you start playing with that, the magic happens. How we start doing this uh, grid shell, I'm gonna explain you right now. So first, here you can see another construction that we did in Bamboo U, that is everything made out just with hyperbolic paraboloids. The beauty of this is that you will end having with straight poles, you will have a doubly curved surface. It will have one line as a convex, um, a surface and the other um, side as a convex. So I'm going to explain you if you start just laying down some bamboo poles all with the diff with the same dimension here, all elements lay down a first layer of bamboo poles. Then just on top of that, you will start laying down more bamboo poles in the other direction. So important thing is that the same amount of bamboo poles that you have here is the same amount of poles that you will need here. So for example, I just draw six here, so I will need two more here. The dimension that you will have in between each bamboo pole needs to be roughly the same. I'm saying roughly because remember that we are using natural materials and this natural material, the bamboo poles will never be the same. So imagine that you have this length X will be the same of this one. And then the magic happens when you start like just trying to move this point in that direction and try to move this point in that direction. What is gonna happen is this. So then you start having like this very interesting form finding and then if you have all the structure just like that try to tie one of each corners or these corners and try to lift it with a hoist or with a tripod and you will find these very interesting shapes you can always play by adding many other elements for example in this one you have one, two, three different modules holding the roof that is made of two different modules. It's very strong and then you can just um, connect them together by adding another bamboo pole on top of that. Then I want to talk about another structural system which is the reciprocal tower. A reciprocal tower, it works in a very similar way as the hyperbolic paraboloid. Actually, they come from the same family of typologies. This tower that you can see here, this has like this very nice um, hourglass shape. And the way that a tower is built it is very simple. Imagine that you start from a top view, start drawing a circle. And then from this circle having your center, divide that, for example, in eight pieces. Once you have those eight pieces, that's gonna be a same ring that you're gonna have on the top part. So as you can see in this tower, we have a ring below, 
and then we have another ring on the top. Both rings are going to be divided by the same amount of pieces. What you want to do is start placing one bamboo pole, project that bamboo pole as a vertical line, and then just skip one position or skip two positions. What's going to happen if I try to skip two positions? This, this will be the bottom ring, and then it will be tied to the top ring. And then what you start looking here, you will start looking at this very interesting star shape if you see the tower from the top. If you want to skip more positions, and I'm going to draw that with a different color, if you just start skipping one position, see how uh, another ring is here but it's wider. And if you want to start skipping more positions, let's try to skip three positions. This is one, two, and three. So see what's going on here. What happened then is that you will have a narrow waist here. So that brings that magic and curve uh, shape to the tower. So this tower also was built with participants in Bamboo U, it brings like this very interesting shape, and then it's covered by another uh, surface all wrapped around to this tower. And then you can start playing with different structural elements and structural systems in the same project. For example, what you can see here in the Princess Tower, you have a, a reciprocal tower, and on top of that, then you have um, grid shell. Also, if you want to do and build something very simple that can be adaptable as a house, can be adaptable as a space, what I can suggest is to play with two different towers. Here, what we have, it's um, a combination of two different towers. You can see that the structure here below, it's a tower with multiple elements and another tower on the top. Both towers are, um, are using the same middle ring. Let's say that this tower, the bottom tower, has the top ring that become the bottom ring of this tower. So what you can play with is with the diameter of the circles or the diameter of the rings. You can make it wider or you can make it narrow. Also, what will happen is that the height of the entire um, construction will change accordingly. So this is very interesting because you can have then, not just in a scale model, but also if you want to work with a, with a software or with a 3D model, then you will be able also to play with the parameters such as the height, if you have one tower like that, then this parameter, you can play with it. Imagine that you have a person here, but then you have the bottom ring and then the top ring, you can play with the height. Also, you can play with the diameter of each ring. If you want to do this wider, you can then imagine that you will have something like that. But if you want to play like in a different way, what we did in Dapur Naga, also built it in Bamboo U, is that the bottom ring is like very, very open. It's wider than the top part of the, of the ring. It's basically it's like if you're looking at this um, yurt, how wide is the bottom ring and how narrow is the top one. So that's also something that you can play with. And what you will end having is like a very narrow ring in the top and then having a nice shape here as the bottom ring. Also remember that another parameter or another element that you can play with is the amount of pieces. What is important to consider is how they intersect to each other. This is called triangulation. It's a very important aspect 
of how structural systems work. You can see that these um, diamonds are opening and are closing. But also, once you have a ring here, then what you will see is just a triangle here that locks the entire structure and then it brings a lot of rigidity. So these are four different um, structural systems that I wanted to share because you can always play with them. You can mix them. You can use, for example, two or three different towers and then have an outline of a post and beam structure. And that's how the heart of school in green school was built. So if you start looking at all these nice pictures and all these nice projects here in Bali, with this information, you are able now to start dissecting the project and understanding what structural systems we were using to make them happen. So here are those four elements, those four uh, structural systems. We are starting uh, today our in-person course. And actually, one of the activities, very interesting activities, is that we put hands on and we built these four structural systems. Remember, post and beam, grid shell, high bar, and reciprocal tower, full scale in just one hour. So we are able to build them in just one hour because it's a very simple way to build. So stay tuned with us, um, like the video, comment, share, follow us, and remember that we are going to have another live uh, YouTube tomorrow because as we're starting our in-person course, we will have Neil Thomas. Neil Thomas, an engineer and director from Atelier One, they will, um, the engineer that have been involved with projects like the Lumishala, Alchemy Yoga, like the ARC here in Green School. So he will be lecturing for our in-person course and um, we will be able to share that lecture and to share that talk live uh, tomorrow. So stay tuned, follow us, and um, I'm very happy to have you again here and stay tuned. See you next.